is high level slowly becoming the best social media planning app i don't know if it's the best yet but man it's getting close let me show you what i mean if you don't know high level just released a new update where you can now post recurring social posts through the social planner so what does that mean that means i can post something text image video and i can have it recurring i can have it post again a day later a week later a month later a year later and the benefit of this is that it's going to keep your feed active lively and going just in case maybe you forget to post something right so this is really really cool they have a walkthrough video here uh, let me mute this so it's not playing as i'm speaking and you can see how they go through the platform uh, and we'll make this go faster since uh, we can't hear them and you're going through the platform and you can see you're posting the content you're using ai to generate look at this this is generating content so they're putting in restaurant review uh create a description and look at this variations different variations medium length tone everything look at this ai generated copy it's going to create the copy then they copy it over and once they like it then they're adding an image with it look at this ai content right here and now they're re uh scheduling or i guess uh scheduling a recurring post and you can repeat every day every month every week every uh year right and they're picking the days they're picking the dates that it will um go out it'll pick the time look at this it's a really really useful scheduling platform and then they're going in and looking at the actual post and this is where you can actually edit the post it shows you the dates that it's going i mean look how absolutely uh, uh powerful this platform is going to be so right here just in this one little uh video what we're seeing is we're seeing the recurring posts we're also seeing the um ai generated or generating content uh for the post so you're seeing that in this wiki and i'll link these below and all the different ways that it works i mean look at this but now one of the new things they also just dropped or just announced is actually the fact that you can use this from your device i've used so many different platforms where it's a matter of you know um you know i can i can log in it's very powerful but when i'm on the go it's not going to be exactly mobile friendly this is now going to be that much more mobile friendly it's showing you all the things that you can do connecting accounts views redirecting creating new posts customizing your posts advanced settings adding media publishing saving posts as drafts scheduling posts scheduling recurring posts which is what they just announced and it shows you exactly how to use it and why it matters but this is going to be so beneficial they even have some images here uh, this is going to be so, so useful when you are on the go and you need to do something your team is working or maybe you're a one man team and you need to do something on the go. And if you're wondering, well, you know, recurring, it's not exactly the newest thing. AI is running rampant. You know, they're going to be creating copy and images and, and Sora just dropped. And, you know, the mobile thing, you know, that's beneficial, but it's not like the craziest update. You're exactly right. Here's where high level, in my opinion, really, really has a strong uh, advantage. At the $97 account, uh, even the $297 and $497 account, you're getting unlimited sub accounts at that $297 and $497. You're getting unlimited, which means you can have unlimited clients, which means you can have, you know, everybody paying you, well, you know, $98, $100 for at, at the very lowest, which I would, I would really recommend not going there, but you could, if you wanted to go very, very cheap, $97, $98, $99, $100. $99. And after about four or five clients, you're making your money back all profit. You can, uh, especially at the 497 account, you can have rebilling turned on. So now if people are using AI, you can actually build them a little bit more for that and you can profit off of that. But the benefit of all of this is, is that whether you're using this for your own account or for your, your uh, client and your customer's accounts, what you can then do is you can integrate it directly into their CRM, their CRM where they're going to do follow-ups and DBRs, uh, database reactivations, promotions review requests, referral requests, social campaign requests that might go back into the content. All of this is connected. I do this myself. I have another video where I talk about how you can use ManyChat to do that. And here's the uh, support document you have right here with Facebook and Instagram comment automations, which if you're working with a lot of uh, these local businesses, these are the two platforms that they're almost always on. And so you can make a post. I do this on my page where I invite people to comment a certain key phrase. I have an automation where I say, hey, comment 3x and I will send you over ABC asset. And so they will comment and without lifting a finger, I will see the automation, reply back to them with one of three different options. And then it will send them a DM and it'll say, hey, if you really want this, you know, uh, just to confirm, comment 3X one more time and they'll comment it. And then boom, 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 it sends all these different things. So it's a combination of the social media planning, the social media planning on the go, 
the overlap with ManyChat, and it's dropping into the funnel system and the pipeline. Pipeline that's uh, you, you could argue is better than HubSpot because it's not upselling you every two seconds. And you have a funnel builder and pipeline that is competitive, if not dominating ClickFunnels right now. I mean, I don't know the future for high level, but I mean, this is this is huge. It just feels like left and right, they are just taking their competition in, in other different, um, you know, software platforms and they're just absolutely ripping them limb from limb. I think this is going to be a huge, huge update. And this just shows how much, if you guys don't know, this just shows how much high level listens to their community. I mean, if you look at this, this is called a, you know, this is their change log. They're showing their roadmap of things they're going to be building. And you can actually come in here and vote on these things. I mean, the, the reason, and I talk about this in my other videos, the reason that high level is, is so powerful and the way that you can learn from them is by making your product entirely around your customer, right? This is something that uh, Steve Jobs talks about a lot. This is something that value proposition design talks about. This is something that the uh, demand side sales talks about. This is something that building the story brand talks about. I mean, there's so many pieces of literature and, and uh, extremely successful entrepreneurs and, and companies that all they talk about is building around the customer, building around uh, the, the consumer base as their main focal point. And high level is absolutely dominating that. And they are just proving that time and time and time again. Uh, it's, it's getting to the point where it, it's scary how good they're getting. It's it's scary how well they're you know reading our minds in terms of what we want. But you have all of these put together in one centralized platform. I mean, you know, is is this the best? There's some problems I want to cover really quickly. But I mean, this is getting really really good. Some of the problems I would say is you know this is mentioning Twitter. I I think and this is November 5th. I'm pretty sure as of November 4th or maybe it was the 5th. I think they cut ties with Twitter because Twitter had some uh, or X if you want to call it had some really, really crazy API usage fees. Uh, I think with the rescheduling uh, or recurring content, recurring isn't my favorite. I'd probably rather see, you know, rescheduling. Like if my, my um, uh, platform is empty, then it puts something in. If it's there, it doesn't, holds it off, right? Something that like Social B has. Uh, but considering what there is here and the way that I can repurpose, uh, share content across different platforms, I can uh, generate copy and generate uh, images without having to go to ChatGBT or Sora the way that I can now use it on the go with the mobile app. And of course the way, uh, or sorry, mobile app right uh, here, where are we going? There it is. And now the way that I, I can also, of course, have people engage with it and it automatically uh, pulls them into my funnel and starts selling them. This is absolutely crazy. Uh, are there other platforms that have different strengths and advantages? Yes. Am I going to go to them? Absolutely not. This is just, you know, dominating in my opinion, but let me know what you think, right? Uh, it's a new product. It's not going to be perfected yet, but let me know what you think. And, and would you switch over to, to high level? If you are going to switch over to high level, or, or if you're even considering it, you know, what concerns or, or, uh, anxieties do you have about switching over based on what you've seen? But let me know as, as for, uh, me and, and my, uh, five companies, we are loving this stuff. So I definitely want to hear, you know, what you think. Appreciate you coming in. And if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.